it's now time to have a look at what we call subfields. Now we have the option within our app of referring to specific characters within a field. This is referred to as processing subfields, whereby we reference a specific character position within the field itself. Let's have a look at an example and we'll go through it line by line so you become familiar with how to use this. So I've added some code here. And the first section shows we're declaring three new variables, international telephone number, country code and telephone number. And you can see the different size of each field. And the first line we have, I am assigning a character string to international telephone number, writing the results to the screen followed by a blank line. And then we come down to the actual subfield processing itself. So our first line of code shows that we are filling the country code field with the first three characters of the international telephone number field. That's quite straightforward. Let's have a look at our second line. In this example, we can see the field telephone number is going to be filled with 13 characters of the international telephone number field starting after the fourth character. So how we'd write this is telephone number equals international telephone number plus four, which means start after the fourth character, open brackets, 13 close brackets, which references 13 characters. Then we're going to move the output to the screen. Then the last example we have is instead of just moving specific characters of the international telephone number field to telephone number, we're actually going to be updating the country code subfields with the literal 01. So how we write this is our country code field plus one, which means start after the first character and fill the next two characters. So the country code field is only three characters in total anyway. So in effect, it's gonna fill the last two characters of this field with the value 01. And the last line of code is just going to produce the output on the screen for us to check. So first of all, let me move this data statement to the top of the program where it belongs. And I'll do the necessary formatting. Have a quick check of the program, make sure the syntax is correct. Activate it and then we'll run the test. And here we can see the results. So first of all, we're outputting the full international telephone number to the screen. Then the next field, the country code field, we filled with the first three characters of the international telephone number field. The next one, the actual telephone number, we referenced 13 characters after the fourth character. So the fourth character was the dash sign. So we can see the next 13 characters starts with the open brackets and ends with the number six. In our last example, updated the country code field, but as a subfield. So it only updated the second and third character of the field. So that's quite straightforward. And you'll see this used a lot in SAP programs. And you'll probably find yourself needing to refer to subfields quite often. And instead of creating brand new fields, holding values there, it is often a lot easier just to use the subfield syntax instead of holding additional values as variables in memory.